Today we're discussing something huge. Fake news. Starting in three, two, one. Okay, here's the deal. Let's learn. In the year 20XX, a pandemic spread across the land. But when educational doors closed and communities practiced social distancing, CFI 70's language and literature teacher was still up for the challenge. Join Mr. Strother and his amazing quarantine! Read alouds, news articles, comic books, writing activities, greyhounds, <laughs> Kids who don't even go here. Wait, Flavored water. Dad jokes. You are now joining Mr. Strother's Quarantine. Welcome back, ballers and scholars. Week 5, day 2. And that means Newzella. Today's article is called To Pick Out Real News from Fake, Be Skeptical. Fake news! Fake news! Today's article has to do with some students who had to determine real from fake or fact from fiction. In a direct quote from the article, it says, she picked up a heap of printed articles and passed them out to students. Their task, figure out which ones are real. In a group near the back of the class, Chris flipped through each story, reading the headlines, squinting at the photos, analyzing the first paragraphs. These, he announced to his friends, are all fake news. They were not. Sounds like fun. I know I've done something similar with students in the past, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try that. I'm going to put a few links in the description below and I'm going to say the name of the site. Then I want you to pause this video and check it out for yourself. Determine, is this fact or fiction? After you explore the site, I'll tell you. I'll also give you any advice on dead giveaways to determine if something is real or fake. So first, we're going to do a practice round based on just the headline alone. So don't look this up. We'll just follow along, we'll do the practice, and we'll see how you do on these first two. Okay, you ready? Here we go. U.S. President Donald Trump suggested during a White House briefing that injecting disinfectant could treat COVID-19. Fact or fiction? Fact! I know, right? You can actually download the official White House transcript if you don't believe me. Also, don't do it! Lysol and Poison Control have already made public statements explaining that it's deadly. It is not a joke. Do not inject disinfectant in your body. I can't go to prison. Look at me. I'm too pretty for that. Okay, let's do this next one, all right? This one's a little bit dated, but we'll see if it works. Harambe, a dead gorilla, got over 15,000 votes for president of the United States. <laughs> Fiction. It's fake. Although I'm certain Harambe may have gotten some write-in votes from some wackadoos who used the right to vote. According to Snopes, a website that determines absurd headlines to be true or false, they stated that the presidential race began slipping away from Hillary Clinton on 8 November 2016. Many people took to Twitter and blamed third-party candidates, and they even had complaints claiming that thousands of voters had cast write-in protest votes for Harambe the gorilla who was controversially killed at the Cincinnati Zoo in May 2016 after a child fell into his pen. It wasn't real. Some people claimed 11,000, 16,000. It didn't happen. So practice is over. How'd you do? Did you get them both? It's okay if you missed both. This stuff is hard. That's why we're talking about it. Now it's going to get real though. The rest of the links are all in the description below. Now each one, I want you to pause after I say the headline, open the link as a new tab, and then return for the answer, fact or fiction. Afterward, I'll give you some tips that are shared in the Newzella article. And if you play along, drop me a note about how you did in our manage back tasks. And you don't even have to do the written response for Newzella if you follow along now and leave me that proof. Deal? All right, here we go. Geno choice. Create your own genetically healthy child online. <laughs> Fiction. The giveaway? Many of the links don't work, both on GenoChoice and RYT Hospital site. In addition, RYT Hospital cannot be found on a map or a simple Google search. Did you look it up? There's also a feature on the site where readers can place their thumb on the screen for a DNA scan. That's not real. All right, next up, buy an ancestor online. Fiction, the giveaway, the site not only looks outdated, but it was last updated in 2012. 
There's also very little information about the founder, Bob Fulkerson, and the site is maintained by the Losing Proposition Company. The real giveaway is that reviews placed on the site by so-called expert genealogists state that it's all a scam and it will bring some real suckers. Do you fall for it? All right, here we go. Next one, Dog Island. Fiction. The giveaway, while a Google search shows that Dog Island is the name of a real island on the coast of Florida, numerous grammatical errors throughout the frequently asked questions page or FAQ raise red flags about the validity of the site. Want to visit their main office? Due to protesters who oppose Dog Island, we've had to make our land office a maze to get to. The directions to the office involve solving a cryptic puzzle. Really? Next one, Mankato, Minnesota. <laughs> The giveaway? The site looks outdated with colorful flashy images and banners. A Google search of Mankato, Minnesota pulls up the city's official homepage, which shows that it is currently 32 degrees, a far cry from the 70 degrees that the hoax site claims. All right, here we go. Just two more left. Save the endangered Pacific Northwest tree octopus. <laughs> Oh boy, I really hope you didn't purchase a mug from their store because it's fiction! The giveaway, a quick search of the affiliated school Kelvnik University and the Wild Haggis Conservation Society brings up quite a few websites that state them as fake. In addition, the author states that Sasquatch is a natural predator to the Pacific Northwest tree octopus. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm wearing Sasquatch socks right now. He's real, he's just vegetarian. Prove me wrong. All right, last one. Reading makes you smarter. Book smarts, abstract intelligence, emotional intelligence, and brain connectivity. It's neurological, baby. So read 20 to 30 minutes a day. So how do you determine if these are fact or fiction? What should you ask yourself? The article on Newzella breaks it down to four things, and I agree with it. One, did you fact check this? Two, what's their source? Three, did you search up the people or places in it? And four, where's the proof? So hopefully you can use these tools to help you navigate fake news. As always, have a great day. Can you see these? Oh, can you see it? Sasquatch. I wasn't lying. <laughs>